Hey everyone, welcome to our last second Saturday of the year. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my name is Mr. Aldo coming to you live from the Harold Washington Library Center. And today we're celebrating celebrations. So uh, we're celebrating all kinds of celebrations today, birthdays, holidays, new year, you name it, we're celebrating it. Um, we have a bunch of activities in store for you today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and visit the back of the yards branch and we're going to see how they're celebrating. We're going to also visit the little village branch and join Miss Jessica as she teaches us how to paint with food. Um, then we're going to go ahead and learn some ASL words with Miss Evelyn and we'll have a celebration book talk with Miss Liv. Then John is going to welcome some special guests. Uh, he's going to go ahead and talk to a few kids today who are going to talk to us about their favorite celebrations. And then we're going to have a special performance by Little Miss Anne. And she's going to go ahead and help us count down to the noon year. So we're going to go ahead and celebrate New Year's a little bit early and have a, a fun uh, musical performance where she's going to do a New Year's Eve countdown. Um, so we have a ton of things planned today. If you want to celebrate at home, um, an easy way to make confetti popper, and I made one here, is to get a cup and uh oh, my balloon is green, so it looks invisible. <laughs> Let me grab another one here. This one's blue, so you can see it. Um, but this is a cup, and then I just cut out a hole and attached a balloon to it. I cut the balloon in half, taped it around the cup, and tied the balloon. And then you have a confetti popper. So you put some confetti in there, launch it, and confetti will pop out. So you can make that at home if you want to celebrate with us later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some confetti to put in here, but now I'm super excited to kick it over to uh, one of my favorite branches um, to see how they're celebrating Second Saturday. Hey, Mr. Lucas. Hi, Mr. Aldo. How are you? Good. How's it going? Oh, it's going good over here. We're ready to celebrate celebrations with a whole bunch of stories. Awesome. Can't wait. So go ahead and take it away. All right. So we're going to start with one of my favorite books about celebrations of all time, Grandma's Tiny House, A Counting Story. And this is by Janae Brown Wood. Tiny in size at the edge of brown streets, it's Grandma's old house where we all go to meet. Grandma's house stays small as the family grows. Will everyone fit inside this year? Who knows? One grandma with her big easy chair, while two turkeys send scrumptious smells through the air. Three neighbors knock on the brown wooden door with four pots of hot greens and ham hocks galore. Five family friends strut up to the stairs with six dozen biscuits and jam made of pears. Seven cool uncles stroll up in a line with eight jugs of lemonade, ice cold and fine. Nine chatting aunties head up for the den and set down cheesecakes that add up to 10. Eleven nephews join, slapping high fives and fumbling 12 sweet potato fives. Thirteen thrilled nieces burst onto the scene with fourteen fresh honeydews, juicy and green. And who is that running, last but not least, fifteen hungry grandkids stampede to the feast. That's when the walls bulge, there is no more space. How will we all eat in this too tiny place? I know. Ooh, do you have an idea? What's one of that 15 grandkids idea? We've stuffed this old house, but the yard's long and wide. Why don't we move our big dinner outside? So out skip the neighbors, nephews and nieces, while uncles and aunties love dinnerware pieces. Friends grab tables, grandkids grab chairs. The rest bring the food down grandma's back stairs. Perfect in size at the edge of Brown Street sits Grandma's backyard where we all go to eat. Oh boy. That's a celebration, right? Friends and food. And now we're going to celebrate with one of my favorite songs, Old MacDonald. Uh, but we're going to do a little twist on this. So just follow along and you'll catch right on. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a party, E-I-E-I-O, with a dancing, dancing here and a dancing, dancing there, here a dancing, there a dancing, everywhere a dancing, dancing. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a parade, E-I-E-I-O. With a marching, marching here and a waving, waving there. Here a marching, there a waving everywhere. A marching, waving. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he baked a cake, E-I-E-I-O. With a mixing, mixing here and a pouring, pouring there. Here a mixing, there a pouring everywhere. A eating, eating. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh boy. I can't hear you singing along with me, but I know you are. <laughs> okay, we've got one more book and one more song. This is about my favorite kind of celebration, a pizza party. Oh my goodness. And this is Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat loves pizza. Pete the Cat loves parties too. So Pete had an idea of what he could do. He would have the perfect pizza party. Pete's friends all arrived. It was time to build the perfect pizza together that would make the perfect pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. Mm. It's a party, a party. A pepperoni pizza party. <gasps> but everyone did not agree. Oh my goodness. Callie said pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new. But maybe pretzels could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Squirrel said, hmm, pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine, but I love pistachios on mine. Pistachios! <sighs> Pete and the gang were puzzled again. Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party! Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine, but I like pickles on mine. Pickles? Ooh, Pete and the gang were puzzled again. Well, that's something new, but maybe pizza pickles <laughs> could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, pizza party. Gus said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, and pickles would be just fine, but I really like popcorn on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle. Pickle popcorn pizza party. <laughs> it's a fun tongue twister, too, as well as a good book. Alligator said, pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorns would be just fine. But I love papaya on mine. Papaya? Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Well, that's something new. Maybe papaya could be groovy, too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya, pizza party! Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high that they had to stop until, ding, the pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun but they all built up their courage to take the first bite. 
and the pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle popcorn papaya pizza was out of sight dynamite just right in the end the perfect pizza is any pizza you share with friends Woo! I'm celebrating I don't have to say any more P words in that perfect pizza party book. Although you could think of a few more ingredients that you might want to put on. Okay, I've got one more rhyme that I want to share with you all. And this will get us ready for one of my favorite celebrations, the new year. Okay, this one's really easy. We go, there's a new year on the calendar today. And then everyone shouts, 2021! There's a new year on the calendar today, 2021. There's a new year on the calendar, a brand new year to laugh and cheer, a new year on the calendar today, 2021. Woo! We'll go over that one more time, just in case you need to memorize it a little more. So let's do it all together now. There's a new year on the calendar today, 2021. There's a new year on the calendar today, 2021. There's a new year on the calendar, a brand new year to laugh and cheer, a new year on the calendar today, 2021. Woo! Well, I'm all celebrated out, but I can't wait to see what all of my other friends are doing across the libraries. Hi. Hi everybody, hola. This is Miss Corina, also at Back of the Yards Branch. And thank you, Mr. Lucas, for those fun songs. Well, I'm so, so glad to be here with you all for the Second Saturday celebration. Second Saturdays is one of my favorite library programs because we get to show you all of the amazing things that libraries do. And I miss seeing all of those families that used to visit us at Harold Washington Library Center. I'm hoping that families can soon be back and we can do second Saturdays in live again. Um, the other thing I really do miss is, hmm, I'll give you a clue. It's in red. Snow! I miss the snow! And yes, I am so ready for 2021, and I'm also ready for that snow to come down because I love playing in the snow, making snowmen, snow angels, and shh, throwing snowballs at my kids. Shh, shh, don't tell them. Well, since the real stuff has not come down yet, then I think it's time that we make some indoor snow. Are you ready to make some snow with me? Mm-hmm. All right. It's going to get a little messy in here, but that's okay. And if you don't have all the stuff, it's totally fine. I promise you it's super easy to make. And I promise that you'll remember everything that you need to make the indoor snow. So you can make it after second Saturday program is all done and when you're bored, okay? All right, I'm gonna move my camera over so you can see all the great things. All right, friends. So there are only five things that you're going to need to make this fun indoor snow, all right? So the first thing is that you are going to need some kind of container. So I have a baking pan here, but you can also use a plastic container, a roasting pan, something that'll keep all of that messy stuff under control, okay? The second thing you're gonna need for that mess are some napkins. So that if you need to clean your hands or wipe your hands, if you need to clean up some of the mess, you have something and you don't leave it just for the adults. <clears throat> you need some measuring cups. Again, if you don't have the measuring cups, no need to worry. Um, we can use them. It'll help us. It's a little bit easier, but you don't necessarily need them. Okay. You can make the indoor snow with that one. And then the two 
Most important ingredients are baking soda. So I have some already in my containers. And baking soda, most of us know it as that small orange little box um, that we keep in the fridge or maybe in the pantry. And us librarians love the baking soda because we also make fun science experiments like exploding volcanoes or um, lava lamps and things like that. And then the last thing is you need some hair conditioner. So most of us have some kind of hair conditioner in the shower or bathroom. Um, the good thing also about making indoor snow is it's super cheap. Like both of these things, I think I paid like a dollar for. So if you don't have any, you can always run out and get some at a later time, okay? And some of you might have a hair conditioner that isn't white. Most of them are, but in case you don't, it's totally fine. You can use the light blue one or the light purple one and it'll still be fun, okay? So I'm gonna take out my measuring cup, here it is. And I'm actually gonna start with a cup of the baking soda. So see, it gets a little messy, it's quite all right. And I'm measuring out a cup. And then I'm gonna do one cup and a half. So now I'm using my half cup measurement. If you have lots of brothers and sisters, or if the adults in your family wanna make it with you, you can always make more and add more baking soda. And then here's our hair conditioner. So I'm going to pour about half a cup in. All right, that's about a half. And now roll up those sleeves because the messy fun is going to begin. All right. So I dumped it in there. All right. And now we're going to use our hands to combine the conditioner with the baking soda. So you move it around, you move it around. It's kind of like mushing it up, right? And because you're using science um, to make this, you can make some simple observations, right? You can feel it and how does it feel? Well, it's not hot or warm, but it's also not freezing cold like the snow that's outside. And that's why we don't need gloves, like winter gloves, to play with it. Um, it smells really nice because my hair conditioner is coconut, yummy. But you can also have one that smells like other, like flowers or other fruit, okay? And then as you see, I'm sort of, I'm now able to kind of make a snowball. See, and I'm gonna use it to make my snowman. So there's the body. And now I'm gonna add another part to it. And then the head, I'll hold this up because I think it's hard to see with the, my baking pan, my shiny baking pan. Ta -da. Yes, it does also look like powdered donuts. <laughs> I don't want you to taste it, even though that is one way we make an observation. Don't put it in your mouth, yucky, yucky. But you can see that my snowman is forming, right? And I just love to make the indoor snow, to play with it. You can also try to use cookie cutters and see if you can make a snow angel or maybe a snow stocking or a reindeer. I know, I see some of you are saying that this, that indoor snow is already a big hit in your house. 
And that is awesome, especially right now when we're at home and there's not a lot of stuff that we can do outside. Finding things like indoor snow or other messy activities like slime are always fun, right? You spend lots of time playing with it and learning about things. The other awesome thing is that at the Chicago Public Library, you can check out so many books about snow and ice and other fun activities to do at home. Um, so you can always check on our catalog and check out some books. I'm gonna, there we are. I'm gonna show you one last time with this big snowball that I made. And I'm gonna keep playing with my snow for a little bit, but I'm gonna hand it over to Mr. Aldo. Before I go, remember two main things that you need. You need some baking soda, and I use one and a half cups of baking soda. And then you need some hair conditioner, and I use half a cup. And then roll up those sleeves and get messy and start playing. Bye, everybody. See you later on. Bye. Thanks, Miss Karina. I went ahead and, and tried your snow uh, experiment, and I made all this snow here. So thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. But yeah, thank you, Back of the Arts, for joining us. Um, now we're going to go ahead and check out what Little Village is doing to celebrate um, another one of my favorite locations um, to visit as well. So let's go ahead and see uh, what Miss Jessica has for us. Hi, everyone. My name is Miss Jessica, and I'm here at the Little Village branch. And today we're going to explore colors and create some cool holiday art using paint that we make here. When we see color, our eyes see the color that's reflected and not absorbed. So an orange, for example, is everything but orange. When light hits this orange, every color is reflected and that's the color we see. That's pretty tricky, right? So let's check out this graphic. We're checking out this graphic from the Science of Color Investigating Light. And we see when all of light's colors are reflected, we see white. We see black when all colors are absorbed. And then we see the surface colors when that's the only color being reflected and not absorbed. So for this project, you'll need food that you think will make the best colors for your paint. So look around your home for fruits, veggies, different sauces that you might have laying around, maybe sports drinks, um, but make sure to ask your adult if it's okay before you use them. Um, you also need a pencil, a plate, different cups, and some water, and a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can always use a Q-tip, or you can use a popsicle stick, or your finger, so you'll make do. So for me, what I did was I used pomegranates, for my red color and I smashed them. I used spinach for my greens and I did have to warm up the water a little bit and smash it down really good. And then I used soy sauce for my brown, mustard for my yellow. Um, so when you're, when you're testing out your paint and smashing and adding water, just keep in mind, is it wet enough? Should I add more water? Does this need to be warmed up? And what's the difference between this paint that I'm making and paint that you buy at the store? Now we have our colors, so you want to test them out. So if you want to use your Q-tip or your paintbrush or your popsicle stick, you can use scratch paper or newspaper you have laying around and kind of test your colors to see how they are, if anything needs to be done to them. That's my green. Here's my yellow, my red for my pomegranate, so, and my brown for my soy sauce. So I'm pretty happy with my four colors, and those are the only four colors I'm gonna need. So you can experiment with as many colors as you want to make as many colors as you like. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your pencil, and you're gonna draw whatever it is you wanna draw. For me and my four colors, I'm gonna draw um, trees, 
and I'm gonna draw a big sun and that's gonna help me with my paints. So you're gonna go through and you're gonna use your paint and fill in as you go along. If you wanna strain and get the little pieces of spinach out or whatever you want, you can do that too before you start and you go, go through. And these colors aren't as strong as real paint because they're really watered down so it almost makes them look like watercolors. And you can go through. And then for my pomegranate, I'm just gonna make little dots. And my soy sauce, I'm gonna use for the bottom of the trees. So we can call this my rough draft. And I put this all together to make a nice holiday card for someone. And once it dries, you can open it up and write a nice message for somebody for the holidays. And of course, you don't have to do something holiday. You can do whatever you want, or you can just make artwork, or you can just experiment with the cool colors and the cool paints. So remember to let your paint dry and see if the colors change at all, or if anything happens after the colors dry. So thanks for spending some time with me exploring color and foods. Um, be sure to check out all of our other videos related to STEAM and check out some of the wonderful books that we have related to color, light, and different people who have worked with color in their life. Hello, and welcome to Second Saturday. I'm Miss Evelyn. Sky name Evelyn. So I'm a children's librarian here at Harold Washington Library Session. So I love the month of December because it's a month of celebration. So today I'm gonna show you some holiday related signs. So the first sign I'm gonna show you is Celebrate. So you're gonna take your two hands and just bend your index finger, turn them around, and put them in a circle. And that's celebrate. So our first holiday is Hanukkah, which started on December 10th, and it always lasts for eight days. So here we have our Hanukkah book. So for Hanukkah, you have your two hands and you make the number four. And that finger touching. And then you make the shape and the menorah. So if you may have already got the sign comes from the menorah. So what do they light on the menorah? Candles. See? So they have eight candles. So for candle, you put your index finger at the bottom of your palm and then wiggle your finger. And then if you're left-handed, just put your right finger and then wiggle your finger. So our next holiday is Christmas on December 25th. If you celebrate Christmas, you might have a tree. So, tree, uh, you put um, your arm on top of your hand, and then you wiggle your hand back and forth. And then for Christmas, we have two different signs. So, you, you have the C handshake and the N word. Or you can do it like this with tree with the suit. So our next holiday is 
fun that we start the day after Christmas on the 26th and last for seven days. So the sign is similar to Hanukkah. And there's two different ways. So you can put your finger to a cross and then you're going to come out with the two, three. You can also start this way with your hand facing and then come out. And they use a candle holder called a chimera. December 33rd, we have New Year's Eve. And at midnight, you might say, Happy New Year. So we have happy. You can use one hand or two hands. Happy, happy. And then we have new. And then year. So happy new year. So this book, A World of Cookies for Santa, tells about how different kids in different countries celebrate. So there are different cookie recipes. Um, so if you love cookies like me, check out the recipe. So for cookies, you think of your cutting out a cookie. And then for Santa, you think of his beer. Then last but not least, we have a cool origami book. Um, that had different crafts that you can make for the different holidays. So for Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. Now, if you don't know what someone celebrates and you want to just say happy holiday, um, you can just say happy holiday. So for holidays, you have your hands like this, your thumbs on your chest, holiday. So happy holidays to you. So tell us in the comments what holiday you are looking forward to celebrating. Hanukkah? Christmas? Kwanzaa? Or the New Year? So now we're turning over to Miss Liv for more on celebration. Our favorite day of the year. What is your very favorite day of the year? In Miss Gupta's kindergarten class, students have the chance to teach their classmates about their favorite holidays by celebrating them at show and tell. Mo brings in apples, honey, and challah to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. Moises introduces his classmates to the nine days of Las Posadas. Kevin's family brings in pie for pie day. And Musa? Musa just can't wait to celebrate Eid al-Fatir with his new best friends. Shuba Diwali. That means happy Diwali. So Shuba Diwali to all of our friends who celebrated the Hindu Festival of Lights earlier this year. From cleaning the house to lighting lamps, learn all about Diwali as one family prepares to celebrate. All of a Kind Family Hanukkah. Raise your hand if you're a fan of Sydney Taylor's All of a Kind Family Stories. This was one of my very favorite series growing up, but even if you haven't read Taylor's charming stories of five sisters growing up in early 1900s New York, this picture book Hanukkah story by Emily Jenkins, starring Taylor's beloved family, is a joyful place to start. 
a world of cookies for Santa. Santa might be the only one able to travel the world this Christmas, but that doesn't mean you can't still sample the flavors he tastes along the way. Freedom Soup It's New Year's Day and Tigran and Belle are busy in the kitchen. This year, Belle is finally old enough to learn how to make Freedom Soup, but why do they call it that? Because, Tigran explains, Freedom Soup celebrates the freedom enslaved Haitians fought for and won many years ago during the Haitian Revolution. Don't worry, a recipe is included. Mindy Kim and the Lunar New Year Parade It's been almost a year since Mindy Kim's mother passed away, and Mindy is determined that she and her father will celebrate the Lunar New Year in the traditional way. Most important is Mama's Rice Cake Soup a traditional Korean New Year food. But will Mindy be able to get the recipe right? For more books about Lunar New Year celebrations, read Astrid and Apollo and the Happy New Year to learn about a Hmong Lunar New Year celebration, Jasmine Taguchi Mochi Queen to learn about a Japanese Lunar New Year tradition, and the Year of the Rat to learn about a Chinese Lunar New Year celebration. The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street the five Vanderbeeker children live on the bottom two floors of a Harlem brownstone with Mama, Papa, and an assortment of rescued pets. The children have grown up in the brownstone, but their landlord, Mr. Biederman, has just told the family he will not be renewing their lease. With less than a month till Christmas, will the Vanderbeekers be able to convince Mr. Biederman to let them stay? Once Upon an Eid this festive short story collection showcases 15 short stories by Muslim authors about the most joyful of celebrations, Eid. Told in prose, verse, and even a short comic, the stories in this book are everything from funny to poignant as they celebrate both Eid al-Fatir and Eid al-Adha, and the Muslim families represented are just as diverse. In Perfect by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow, Hawa is disappointed to be missing the Eid al-Fatir feast she usually attends to spend time with her father's relatives who have recently moved to New York. While in the Feast of Sacrifice by Hina Khan, a group of siblings miss their Pakistani-American parents who are making their first Hajj, but joyously reconnect with them on Eid al-Adha. Guaranteed to give your spirits a lift. Happy Holidays! Hi everyone, it's Mr. John here. Thank you so much for joining us for our second Saturday celebrations. Um, today, we're fortunate enough to be able to bring in some uh, special guests today. Uh, we've been really wanting to bring in some kids and their families to join us for second Saturday. And fortunately, we are able to bring in some uh, kids from Chicago today. So let me see if my friends are ready to join us. Amani, are you here? Hey Amani and Carmen, how are you guys? Hi. Thanks so much for joining us. So, um, we first got to know Amani and his mom Carmen this summer because you guys were participating in a lot of our um, programs this summer. And something we love to celebrate, of course, is learning. And I think you guys have been doing a ton of that with us. Um, can you guys tell us about some of the uh, programs that you participated in? Well, we, um, Moni was uh, pretty much in the summer learning challenge mm -hmm. for yeah. the whole summer. So when it was over, we were looking for more activities for him. Mm -hmm. And then we find out about the Legos, the yeah. Lego club and the 3, 3D printing and then painting and coloring and all these online activities that you guys are offering. To kids during this time in the I mean it's ha it, it has been so much fun and I want to thank you guys for doing this yeah. that's an amazing job that you guys are doing because we are really learning new things great I'm so glad to hear that um, and I know uh, Amani you've participated in um, a bunch of printing programs with mr. Aldo can you can you tell us a little bit about some of the things you've made through 3d printing well, one, one of the things I made was this orange Beyond bookmark. There were oh, cool. three of them, like a red one, a green one, and this orange one. So, Very nice. And another one that I made was this, was this black. Ooh, that was cool. 
this is the one I made on uh, on uh, Halloween. That's really cool. And I also made this minion bookmark too. Nice. Wow, you've been making a lot. <laughs> yes. For anyone interested in doing um, 3D printing, uh, Mr. Aldo does regular 3D printing programs, and you can find all of our um, online events on our website. You can just go to shyclublib.org slash events to find out more about um, the different programs we do. Um, is there, since today is all about celebrations, are there any things that you guys particularly like to celebrate? Whoops. I think I lost the money, but that's okay. Um, I wonder if I have any of my other special um, guests ready to go. I don't. I was thinking my buddy Teddy might be joining me today. I'm not sure if that, if Teddy is here. Teddy, are you around? Maybe not. That's okay. Um, I have another very special guest today. You guys might know her because she has visited many of our branches. Throughout the year, she is a wonderful musician. Uh, she has gone to probably like most of our branches at this point. Um, and she's also been doing a bunch of music programs online. Uh, she just wrapped up a series of music programs that she was doing through Zoom with us. And we're so excited to be welcoming her, to her today to uh, Second Saturday for our celebration. So uh, Little Miss Anne, are you there? Hi. Hi, John. Hey, Anne, how are you? Thanks, Thanks so, so much for having me. me. And this is my husband, Patrick. He's going to play Hi, a little Patrick. drum. Awesome. I'm, really, I'm really happy to be here and I'm happy to see all the librarians and the kids. Yeah. This is great. So we're going to, um, Little Miss Ann's going to do some uh, songs for us, but then right around noon, we're going to do a special very early after, um, noon Year's Eve countdown. So I hope everyone will enjoy your performance and then we'll, uh, I'll join you back in. I might have you back noon. to show us um, something that you, you brought, you oh, showed okay. me earlier okay. though. But, yeah, okay. I'll be ready. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get started, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. We're going to do a song called Three Little Snowmen. This might be for the littler ones, but the other songs are all, every, everyone can enjoy this song. So Three Little Snowmen sitting still. Where did they go? I don't know. Everybody go like this. One little snowman rolled down the hill. And that's it. That's pretty much the whole song right there. And I am going to ask you at some point to tell me where you think the snowman went. So think about that. Three, three fingers, tres. Three little snowmen sitting still. Where'd they go? Look for them. Where did they go? Oh, I don't know. One little snowman rode down the wall. How many do we have left? Two. Yes, thank you, Christina. Two little snowmen sitting still. All right, here's a pretty guitar part. Can I see two fingers? Two little snowmen sitting still. Where'd they go? Where did they go? No. One little snowman rode down the wall. Do we have left sand? One little snowman sitting still. Can you hold one finger up? Oh, that's so good. You're doing such a great job. Hold your one finger up. Here we go. One little snowman sitting still. Where'd it go? Where did it go? I don't know. That little snowman rode down a wall. No little snowman sitting still. Okay. Where do you think the snowman went? Can you type it in into the comments? I know where the snowman went. Do you think they went to the park? What do you think, Patrick? At the park. At the park? Hmm. Where did the snowman go? Down the hill. Okay. All right, somebody says the beach. No, it's not the beach. Any other guesses? Where did the snowman roll down the hill? I'll tell you. They're singing holiday songs and spreading good will. Yay!
In in a car. Teresa says in a car. They melted. These are all such good answers. Let me let me try that out, Patrick. Okay. Where did the snowman roll down the hill? They're in a car, and yes, they melted. Hmm. Not bad, Andrea. Not bad, Teresa. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to do this song, but I have a friend here. Oops, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a friend here, and you and um. Mr. John showed me something that was really made me think that my friend would want to say hi. Here's my friend. <gasps> Does anybody know what or who this is? Huh? Hi, Ube. Hello. How are you? You do, you all doing okay? I'm doing good. Patrick, how about you? I'm doing good, Ube. Good to see you. Mr. John. Did you want to show me that treat that you were going to show me earlier? Oh. This little Filipino treat. It's called Ube Ensemada. I got it from the uh, local Filipino bakery here, Red Ribbon. That is so delicious. I personally don't eat it, but I think a lot of people would like it. You can see why I would not eat it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I think they're delicious too, Ube. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't be sorry. I just, you know what? A lot of people celebrate the holidays in different ways. And and in and, and Filipino culture, sometimes they put these things called paroles up. Mm -hmm. And some people, I have a new song about it. And some people um, also eat Ube or some other things. So I'm going to sing that song about Ube because, because yeah. So thank you My for favorite. sharing that. Yeah, you, everybody you. should go and try that. Ube and Sen Ensenadas are so good. Some people say Ube too. So, but okay, here goes the song, everybody. Bye, Ube. Bye, Ube. <laughs> so the, what we do for that is we go, Ube, 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 Ube. That's movement number one. <laughs> oh, I'm getting such nice comments. When I say la la, we put our hands up on the wall. And we go side to side, la, la, yes. This is the silly part. When I say, do you like green eggs and ham? We say, no. no. Or do you like a purple yam, a purple? Yeah. yeah. Last part, twinkle your fingers. When I say shine, we're going to bring it down as slowly as what? What's the slowest animal you know? Feel free to type it in. What do you think the slowest animal you know? Is it a cheetah? Nope. Is it a, a turtle? Oh, a nice. sloth. That's a great answer. Okay, we'll go with the sloth. Bring it down as slowly as a sloth. Okay, you got it? This is called the fist pump. This is called the wall wash. No, yeah, and sloth. All right, let's do it, Patrick. You ready? I'm ready. Sloth, Andrea says. What? You call a purple yam, a purple yam. Ube, 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 ube. What do you call a purple yam, a purple yam? Ube, 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 ube. Let's do the wash the walls. La, 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 turtle. La, 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 la. Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Fist bump. Oh, that lamb like the purple oh, yam, the purple yam. Ooh, baby, 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 baby. Here we go, watch the walls. La, 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 la. Okay, here's the silly part, everybody. Get ready for your big resounding bell. Here it comes. Do you like green eggs and ham? No! Or do you like some purple yam, some purple yam? Wash the walls. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Okay, everybody, put your hands up in the air. Twinkle your fingers. Get ready. Bring it down as slowly as a slot and go. Oh, you got it, Patrick. Woo! Wow. 
thank you to John and thank you to Aldo and thank you to all the librarians. Thank you so much um, for keeping the community going. Ah, Athena singing Lala. Thank you, Teresa. Anyway, I love I love the Chicago Public Libraries. Thank you so much for having Patrick and I. Everybody, let's clap your hands for love. Amor. Let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands Got something off the ground here. Um, well, I feel like I should sing a holiday song. Let me think. What is the most quintessential holiday song? Hmm. Santa Baby? No, no, no. I don't think that would be a, a good family one. <laughs> um, let me think. How about hmm. Jingle Bells? Ooh, good idea, Lube. Yes, Jingle Bells. Will you sing Jingle Bells, please, 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 dude? I hope everybody out there will sing along with me. Oh, you have your jingle bells, Patrick? Yes. Okay. All right, let's sing jingle bells. All right, here we go. Start snowing. Oh, what was that sound? <laughs> and then after the, okay, we got time for one more song, and that's oh, no, jingle that's bells. It? Yeah, one more oh, song before countdown. we do Close. the countdown. Yeah. 
Let's do a little jingle bells. Sure. Get ready. Ready. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha. Oh, the ring. Sorry. Making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing in a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. All right, everybody out there. I hope you're singing along, and I hope you're getting in the holiday cheer. There's so many things we can do to get in the holiday spirit. Singing is one of it. Hi. Hi, Nessa. I hope that Gail and Liam are singing Jingle Bells. Let's do it one more time before we do our countdown, everybody. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. All the pop the ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing and sing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh my goodness, I think we are almost ready are. to, oh, I should probably, for our countdown, I should probably light up my necklace. Why have, have, well, I felt like, like, you know, for time. for our countdown. Oh, okay. All right, Patrick, do you want to get into place for our countdown pretty soon? Sure. All right, I got my lights going. Unless you want Ube to do it. No, Ube. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. So we're going to get ready really soon to do our countdown. And let me get my numbers ready. All right. I got some numbers here. Oh, cool. You're prepared. I have a little uh, confetti cannon. Like All right. I'm going to blast these off. Okay. Um, All right. I'm going to let you do it then. All right. Should okay. we bring in our, our friends, Amani? Yes, and let's bring Teddy. our friends. Yes. Teddy, how's Hi. it going? Good to see you. And Hello. I'm Amani and Carter. Are you guys ready to uh, do a practice yeah. 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 All right. Are you all ready? Let's get started. Yeah. Ten. Got and never crossed his mind. Hold all 
山，那天多好，我来山。We'll take a cup of kindness yet for all who lay inside. Everybody, be strong. We'll get through this together. And if you have food and family and home and each other and books or any of those things or one of those things, you're doing okay. So everybody, happy holidays and stay well and stay safe. And we'll see you in 2021. Okay. Thank you so much, Anne. That was great. I'm so looking forward to 2021 now. Yes. Thank you so much. 2021. Thank you, families. Thank you, Aldo. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good to see you all. I did want to um, say thank you again to Amani and Carmen. And I wanted to introduce my buddy, Teddy, and uh, his mom, Iris. Hey, Teddy. Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi Teddy. Hi. Teddy, did nice you have a joke you wanted to share with us? Yeah. Go ahead. What's a cow's favorite holiday? What is a cow's favorite holiday? I don't know. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. That's a great show. Thank you so much. I'm so ready to celebrate New Year's Eve, and I'm so ready for 2021. So thank you to everyone for joining us. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next year. Bye. See you in 2021.